team. Today we're going to work on PowerPoint Chapter 1. I've already downloaded my files to a folder and you can see that this file with a tiny W. This is my Word file. This is my instructions on how to complete the task and we're going to just kind of keep those instructions down here at the bottom so you can see them as we go along. And then here is our PowerPoint. Now it will download with your last name. I suggest that you resave it and go ahead and put a one in front of your name. Go ahead, you can save it right back into that same folder. But what I'm suggesting you do is here where your name is, I'm suggesting you highlight that and put one and put your name in capitals. So you know that this is the first one you're going to upload. If you end up doing the assignment again for a different grade, Put a two in front of it, or a three, it's each time you upload it for grading. Okay, we're going to save. We're going to make our PowerPoint a little bit more viewable and uh, a little bit bigger. All right, so let's get started. We're working with Wanton Waffles. It's a mobile truck business, and it's told us to save our name. Oh, we were supposed to save our name with our last name. At the end, you can always resave if you'd like. Replace your name on slide one by piping your name and using the retrospect theme. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see that at home as well. Okay, so we're going to click where your name goes. Mine is Daphne L. Lewis. And I'm going to go ahead and go into... Um, Design, I'm sorry. And in Design, I'm going to look for the Retrospect theme. There's a drop-down menu here. I click that, and if you just hover your mouse over, it'll tell you the name of each theme as you go over it. And that's how I locate the one I'm looking for. A little time-consuming, but it's kind of fun to see the others pop up in the back. We're on Wisp, and now we've made it to Retrospect. It's kind of a white background with some fall colors. I'm going to click that, and you'll quickly see that your thumbnail slide view over here already has that theme color involved. And that's the end of step two. I'm going to save. PowerPoint takes a lot of memory. Make sure you save lots. Okay, so step three. Insert a new slide with a section header after slide one. So I'm going to click in my thumbnails between slide one and two and give myself a line here. And I'm going to come up to my home tab and at new slides I'm going to click the pull down menu and it asks us to find a section header slide and that's the one we want right there. So insert a new slide with a section header layout for slide one. After slide one type the following in the title. Wanton Waffles Provides gourmet food quality prepared on the spot in a mobile truck. And I'm going to click right in my box and paste that. I'm going to save, and that's the end of step three. Step four, double click the border of the title placeholder. So you come over here to where you see your, your little dashes, and you double click it, which activates these dots. Or these placeholders. So the changes we make to font now will cover all of this. You could also highlight the whole thing. Either way will work. And go to the font size. So I'm on my home tab and I'm going to come to font and they ask us to change it to 60 font and apply italics. So we've got 60 font with the italics I tip to the side and I'm going to save. And that's the end of step four. Step five, click side three. So this is thumbnail one, two, and three. Add the following speaker note. A speaker note is found down here below our slide. When you're in presentation mode, you will see it and the people who are watching your PowerPoint won't. If you don't see speaker notes, you can come over here to the bottom of your taskbar in PowerPoint and click notes and it will appear. You can also adjust this up and down as needed. 
and it says, add the following speaker notes. We can sell it in expensive breakfast, and our food is fun. I'm going to go ahead and save that, and that's the end of step five.